Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Emily. Hello, it's nice to meet you and welcome to my channel. And I am the aspiring makeup artist and makeup enthusiast and I have a tube shoved up my nose and down my, in my belly. Sorry, I was trying to make light of these situations. Um, it's very different and I think I can really, really do it and I'm gonna, I think it's gonna look awesome. And if you guys would like to know how I got this, how I got this look, well, my face is bare at the moment. If you'd like to know how I got the look and would like to see it on my face and then so you can recreate it on your face or somebody else's face, please keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video. To start off my face, I've taken my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Beige and I've set it in place using the white eyeshadow from the Morphe 35C palette which is, and I'm taking my Iconic London Deep Brow Cushion and I've got my Morphe R44 brush with the little spoolie on the end which is my favourite eyebrow brush Carve it out using my Tarte Concealer Shape Tape and I'm using my Morphe E43 brush which is my favourite for carving out brows. Now I'm going to start on the actual eyeshadow and first put in my crease which is, this is the Rose Gold Palette by Huda Beauty, it's one of my favourites. And I'm going to take the shade Sandalwood and I'm also going to mix it with Suede. And I am going to give my crease some colour. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to go back to my palette and I'm going to take the darker colour here which is cool. Coco and I am using a Morphe M508 which is a little dense eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take Coco out of the excess I'm going to line it in my crease and then I'll blend it out Now I am going to go back in with my Shape Tape Concealer and I am going to carve my eye so cut the crease up and make it look nice and sharp and I am just going to take this brush here which is, I don't know the brand of it but it's like a dense flat brush so I am going to take that and I am going to put a little bit on the bottom of my eyelid As you can see, I've cut both creases so they look nice and sharp and I'm going to add a little more definition to them by I'm going to go back in with this beautiful rose gold palette and I'm going to take that dark shade Coco and I'm taking the little detailer brush and then I'm gently going to blend that out with a blender brush. Now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek Single Shadow in the shade Charmed and I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelids. I love that eyeshadow, it is so beautiful. Now I'm going to draw the daisies, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to zoom you right in and I'm going to first of all put the dots just so I know a rough idea.
I'm going to take my NYX liquid eyeliner and the liner that I used for the yellow is the NYX Vivid Halo liquid liner. And here is the daisies and I think it looks really really cool. And now I'm going to draw in that little tiny little bit of eyeliner just on the... my god I absolutely love these eyelashes they are insane they're beautiful they're long they're wispy they're literally everything I think I'm in love with a pair of eyelashes I love all of the Morphe lashes I think my favorites so far I love romancing heartbreaker and I also love luxurious and they're very very pretty all of them are but just look at them <laughs> all right i'm gonna get straight into my face makeup okay because i feel like if i carry on rambling at you guys this video is going to be like an hour maybe more on so let's move on and let's do my face i'm gonna take my mario badescu facial spray which is with rose water and aloe herbs and this stuff is so hydrating. I put it in my hair, on my face, on my neck. I even sometimes spray it on my like, shoulders because I get dry skin now. But it is so, and it smells amazing as well, so. Just because I felt a little bit extra, I've added two daisies above the cut crease because I just literally wanted to make it clear that they're daisies. <laughs> So I'm literally now, I've primed my face using the Soap and Glow One Hook of a Block Primer and my face feels nice and soft. Before I put on my foundation, I'm going to take a liquid highlighter. This is by Makeup Revolution in a really, really cool bottle. And it's called, I don't know if you can see, Unicorn Elixir. So I'm going to take some of this and I'm just going to drip it down my face and then I will blend it in. Here's all the highlight I put on and I'm now going to take my NYX Wonder Stick and this is in the shade Light Medium and I'm going to take this and I'm going to contour under my foundation. Now I'm going to apply my foundation which is the Angel Food Huda Beauty Fulfilled Foundation and I'm just going to take it and put dab little bits on my face. Now for contouring I'm going to take my Morphe brushes 9C palette and I'm going to take an angle contour brush and the one that I usually use is Morphe, but because I've washed that lately, I've got the Sigma Soft Angled Contour Brush, which is the F23. Just going to take this shade out of the um, 9C palette, which is only a little bit, and I'm just going to sharpen up my cheek contour and um, any areas that need. Now I'm going to take the Morphe Nambiza bronzer palette and I'm going to take this bronzer here in the middle and I'm also going to take a little bit of this one as well. Now for blush I'm going to take the 9M blush palette and I'm going to take the lightest blush here which is probably my favourite in the entire palette. Now for my favourite part, which is highlighter, and I'm taking my staple highlighter. This is the Ofra Glazed Donut 
Highlighter and it's a Nikki Tutorials collab and it's probably my favourite highlighter in the world. I love mixing it with others as well because it's just so pigmented, I mean. Whoa! I can definitely be seen from space. <laughs> I'm going to take the liquid lipstick, it's called Anti Socialite and it's by um, Sugar Pill. There we go. That is my lips all done, and I'm just gonna add um, glitter in a corner and smoke out my lower lash line and put some mascara on, and I'm all done. Yay! Now hop on to my Morphe 35C palette, and I'm gonna take this green shade here and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. Just add a pop of green matches. And here, guys, is the completed look along with all of the glitter in it. As you know, I'm a glitter addict and I'm so grateful thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope you enjoyed it and I absolutely had so much fun filming it I love you guys bye